Here we have an example of chain rule because I have a square root, so that's my outer function, and inside that radical, there's something more than just an x. So I have this inner function, 3x to the fourth as well. So my outer is the radical. I can think of it as square root of u. And then the inner, u is equal to 3x to the fourth. So I need to do the power rule here and rethink of this instead of as a radical, rewriting that as an exponential in exponential form. So I'm gonna start with that. So I'm gonna rewrite this as f of x equals, and the entire thing, the entire inner function is being raised to the one half. So when I do the chain rule, I'm going to apply the power rule here and keep the inside exactly the same. So f prime of x, I apply the power rule, so 1 half comes down to the front. I still have the same exact thing inside the parentheses here, 3x to the fourth. Now it's to the negative 1 half, because 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. And now I have to multiply by the inner function's derivative, or what u prime would be. The derivative of 3x plus 4, I would bring the 4 down, so 12x to the third. Okay, so before simplifying, this is my derivative. I've applied chain rule. I've kept what's inside of the function, what's inside the radical or the parentheses. I've kept that the same when I applied power rule. And then I've also taken the derivative of the inner function and multiplied by that at the end. So in order to write this in simplified radical form, I would switch things around a little bit. So I can write, I can pull this 12 to the front and multiply 1 half times 12, which is 6. And then I have this x cubed. Um, and then I have, let's see, this is all over. I'm going to rethink this and take this negative exponent, put it in the denominator instead. So I have 3x to the fourth, which is all being raised to the one half. Okay, so we've done some simplification here. If you have this on a multiple choice question, they might go further and really simplify here. So we still have 6x cubed. Um, the one half exponent is applying to everything, so to the 3 and to the x to the 4th. So I'm going to rewrite this 3 to the 1 half as radical 3, and then x to the 4th to the 1 half. My rule when I have an exponent raised to another exponent is that I multiply them. So what is 4 times 1 half? 2. So this is just times x squared. Okay. So now I don't have any x's left inside a radical, and I can actually simplify my x to the third over x squared. That would just be an x. So 6x over radical 3. There's one other thing that you maybe touched on in Algebra 2 that a lot of math exams like to do, which is something called to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to focus on my 6x radical 3. Let me rewrite this down here. 6x over radical 3. And to rationalize the denominator, I'm going to multiply by radical 3 over radical 3. When I do that, I will end up with a denominator that is not a radical which uh, for me, I really don't care about this, but just so if you see something like this, you understand why or what is happening. So we have six radical three times x over the square root of three times the square root of three would just be three. And then this I can simplify further as well because six divided by three is two. So I could just write this as two radical three x.